द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इन द फर्स्ट केस एंड सेकेंड केस दोनों में सेम होगा नाउ वट आई कैन राइट आई कैन राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अकॉर्डिंग टू हेनरीज लॉ प्रेशर पार्शल प्रेशर ऑफ अ गैस इज इक्वल टू के एच एन टू का ठीक है लेट एस सपोज दिस फॉर दी फर्स्ट इक्वेशन वेन वी हैव सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स इंटू ट्वेंटी थ्री पर माइनस टू आई कैन ऑल्सो राइट पार्शल प्रेशर विल बी इक्वल टू के एच इन टू का बी एंड इन दिस केस वॉट आई कैन से इन दिस केस आई कैन से दैट दिस इज फॉर द सेकेंड इक्वेशन इज दिस करेक्ट कैसे okay acha what it is saying the solution contains the partial pressure of ethane or this much of it na bar if the solution contains this much amount what is going to be the okay the partial pressure what will be the partial pressure of the gas theek hai Now in this case I know <coughs> KH will be equal to अच्छा यहाँ पे क्या ना राइट वन थिंग दैट सिंस द नंबर ऑफ मोड्स ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इज सेम इन बोथ दी केसेस दोनों केसेस में क्या है आपके पास दोनों केसेस में आपके पास क्या है द सॉल्वेंट इज सेम द अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इज सेम इन बोथ दी केसेस एंड दे हैव नॉट गिवन एनीथिंग एल्स ना पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ द गैस इज मच इज वन बार They have given the mass. The solution contains five point zero into ten to the minus two grams of ethane. Then what will be the partial pressure of the gas over a saturated solution? That means we have already added. Ah, okay. This pressure is equal to K into K B. Now I can write K H is equal to. Now I can write partial pressure. Okay. This one more equation. What you can write? There is one more equation which says that. solubility of a gas in a solution is directly proportional to <clears throat> directly proportional to the pressure of gas okay so we'll use this equation because yahan pe inhone one bar diya that is atmospheric pressure ठीक है इसका मतलब क्या है वी हैव नॉट एडेड एनीथिंग राइट नाउ द सॉल्यूशन डज नॉट हैव एनी नाइट्रोजन और सॉरी डज द सॉल्यूशन डज नॉट हैव एनी इथेन व्हाट एवर द प्रेजेंस ऑफ इथेन इज प्रेजेंट बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस वन बार ठीक है सो फॉर दिस वी विल राइट द इक्वेशन दैट सॉल्युबिलिटी इज इक्वल टू द एनी कांस्टेंट दैट इज हेनरीज कांस्टेंट लिख सकते हैं इनटू द प्रेशर ऑफ द गैस दैट इज वन बार एंड दिस सॉल्युबिलिटी इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द मास ऑफ सॉल्यूट मास ऑफ सोल्यूट की ये क्या है डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल ना इन दिस केस व्हाट आई कैन राइट दो बार इस इक्वेशन को लिख सकते हैं सोल्यूबिलिटी विल बी इक्वल टू के एच इन टू पी एंड देन दिस इज फॉर लेटर सपोज सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स इन टू टेन टू थी पर माइनस टू के लिए और दूसरा सोल्यूबिलिटी इज इक्वल टू के एच इन टू पी दिस इक्वेशन इज फॉर फाइव इंटू टेन टू थी पर माइनस टू ना आई कैन ऑल्सो राइट सोलिबिलिटी डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शन टू मास ऑफ सोल्यूट और इन दोनों इक्वेशन को हम लोग क्या कर सकते हैं इक्वेट कर सकते हैं राइट so what i can write here solubility is equal to gas into p and that is why the pressure will be equal to how much pressure 1 ho jayega aapke paas ph nikal jayega yahan se na प्रेशर 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 कहीं 
just a second. Mm -hmm. Mass of the slope directly proportion to f is by so t is equal to as a calculus solubility one will be equal to kh that is going to be the constant into pressure first killing and solubility is equal to kh into pressure for the second one solubility first case may have pass kitna hai six point five six into 10 to the power minus 2 will be equal to kh pressure hai pe 1 and then here you have solubility 5.0 into 10 to the power minus 2 is equal to kh into ye p nikalna hai aapko, right? now kh for both the cases will be same here pe kh is equal to how much 6.56 into 10 to the power minus 2 Achha, aur is case mein kya hai kh kh is equal to p upon 5 into 10 to the power minus 2. Okay. Now you will equate this equation and this equation. The pressure will be equal to 6.56 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 5. Okay. Now here is 6.5 to 1 second guys my bad kh will be equal to sorry 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by p over my bad guys square pick 6.56 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 5 into 10 to the power ya ulta hoga Six point five six into ten to the power minus two is equal to five into ten to the power minus two divided by p. P will be equal to uh, five into ten to the power minus two divided by six point five six into ten to the power minus two. So this is going to get cancelled. Six point five six divided by so five divided by six point five six. This is coming out to be how much? 0 0.76 per please write this down And what other questions you had? Uh, or it is formulated for solutions of non-volatile solutes. Ye aaj hum batayenge aapko, theek hai? 
Then you had a uh, state rolls for a solution containing volatile components. Name the solution which follows the rolls at all concentration and temperature. Ideal solution. Okay. Fahad, this is ideal solution. I think state rolls flow, you know what is the rolls flow? Yes, sir. And ideal solution. Then what else you had? Henry's law about state the following. Henry's law about partial pressure of a gas in a mixture. Partial pressure of a gas in a mixture is directly proportional to the mole fraction of the solute. Take a mole fraction of the gas present in the solution. I don't know what others the Henry's law Henry's law. I know what I hope you know what is Henry's law. Then uh, which solution follows Rolle's law? Ideal solution follows Rolle's law. How? And then you have state or Rolle's law. How it is formulated for solutions of non-volatile solutes? So, today we will study. Okay. Right. Next topic. So, last time we have studied about this. Last time we did all the azeotropes that we have studied, right? Azeotrope and everything was done. Like, like this also, like, okay. Right, next topic. Colligative properties. Okay. So right now we have seen vapor pressure. That is one property, but colligative properties are those properties which are all of these colligative property will be dependent on vapor pressure only. Lekin kya fark hoga? The difference will be that this colligative will properties directly proportion to the amount of solute that you are adding. Okay. So what are colligative properties? Please write the properties of solution. The properties of solution, which depends only on these will depend only on the number of solute particle. Okay, so if you are having more solute particles, in that case, what is going to happen? Then in that case, that colligative property, so it is going to depend on what? If you are adding more number of solute, then the colligative property is going to increase. And these are also known as democratic properties. Why? Because it depends on the population. Kitne zada hai aapke paas. There are four colligative properties that we have to know. There are there are four colligative properties. Number one, please write relative lowering of vapor pressure. Relative lowering of vapor pressure. I will denote this by RLVP. Relative lowering of vapor pressure. Second, like here, please. Elevation in boiling point. Elevation in boiling point. This will be denoted by delta Tb. Third is depression in freezing point. Denoted by delta Tf. Fourth. Smotic pressure denoted by delta, sorry, not delta, osmotic pressure is denoted by capital Pi.
Okay. In this case, we'll look at the relative lowering of vapor pressure. Okay. Just to summarize whatever we have learned till now, please don't write this. You have seen that binary solutions in which the solvent is liquid can be of three types. Liquid plus gas. Liquid is my solvent, gas is my solute. It can be liquid plus liquid. And then the case that we are now looking at is liquid plus solid. Ko dekhna baki raha, right? Now liquid plus gas, it follows which law? Henry's law. It follows Henry's law. What about liquid plus liquid? It follows Rod's law. It follows Rod's law. What does Henry's law say? Henry's law says that the partial pressure above the solution will be directly proportional to the mole fraction of the solute. Now, why only the mole fraction of the solute? Because solute is a gas and gas is more escapable. That is why the pressure it is only dependent on the mole fraction of the solute that is gas. In liquid liquid, the pressure is directly proportional to the mole fraction of A and the pressure is also directly proportional to the mole fraction of B. Why? Because both are liquid, both are volatile and both will be contributing towards the vapor pressure that is present above the solution. Now, in terms of liquid and solid, the pressure of the solution will be directly proportional to the liquid one. Kai e. Only kai e. Why? Why only kai e? Because only kai e because why? Because liquid is only escapable. Solid cannot escape the solution. Anna? Solid to directly vapor ni ban sakta. That is why solid is non-volatile. And if it is non-volatile, it is not contributing in the, it is not going to contribute in the vapor pressure. What is contributing in the vapor pressure? Only liquid and that is kai e. And that is why pressure will be directly proportional to kai e. Okay, so we can write pressure of solution or the total pressure will be equal to total pressure. Like okay. Total pressure will be equal to the P naught, the vapor pressure of pure solvent multiplied by the mole fraction of the solvent. Okay, so this is the equation that we have for relative lowering of vapor pressure. Usko thosa modify karke likhenge, but this is the summary of what we have done till now. Now we have to look at this portion in detail now. Please write. Number one, relative lowering of vapor pressure. Relative lowering of vapor pressure. Please write the vapor pressure of solution with the vapor pressure of solution with non volatile solute. with non-volatile solute is equal to right, is directly proportional to is directly proportional to the mole fraction of Solvent, right? Solvent because solvent is liquid, it is volatile, it is escapable. Solid which is non-volatile, it is not escapable. So I can write the total pressure will be equal to not rather equal, abito directly proportional to chi A. Is you can accept P total will be equal to P naught A, the vapor pressure of A in pure form multiplied by chi A. Now P naught A is the vapor pressure before adding the solute. P total is the vapor pressure after adding the solid solute. So Pt minus P naught A. Okay. Pt minus P naught A. This will be equal to how much? This will be equal to tell me. This will be equal to chi A. Is that right, Yasano? Please tell me. Correct, guys. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Now we will look at one more thing here. Now let us look at this equation or isko, we are going to write this in terms of what we are going to write this in terms of chi p. So I can write p total is equal to p naught a into 1 minus chi b because chi a plus chi b it is equal to 1. Right? Sum of the more fraction is equal to 1. This will be equal to p naught a into 1 p naught a. p naught a minus p naught a into minus chi b will be equal to minus p naught a chi b. Now what we are going to do, I am now going to move this P0A here in the LHS. 
I will get PT minus P naught A. PT. Or rather, a comment eat at the as any kit curtains to eat at the guys. Please see this equation is not right. Minus Kardia Thamne. It will be PT upon P naught A will be equal to Kai. Okay, PT minus Nioka, PT upon P naught A will be equal to Kai. Okay, now look here. Now, what I will do, I will move this whole thing here or PT Kudar Lekha. Okay, so I will get P naught A Kai B minus the plus Ovia is equal to P naught A minus P to T. This is known as lowering of vapor pressure. This equation ke liye kya hai? lowering of vapor pressure. And now, as soon as you write chi p, it is equal to p naught a minus p total divided by p naught a. This is known as relative lowering of vapor pressure. Q, please see here, guys. Don't write, look here. When we have only solvent, when we have only solvent, then in that case, the vapor pressure will be higher. As soon as you are going to add solid solute inside the solvent, what is going to happen? Solid solute is going to take some part on the surface and it will not let the, it is not going to let the liquid molecule escape out easily because up solid ka pe, to surface me solid bhi gaya, and that is why all the surface is not belonging to liquid particles. So that is why the escapability will be decreasing. If the escapability of the liquid particle is decreasing, the vapor pressure will decrease. So what is this P naught A? P naught A is higher vapor pressure. Tha. What is P total after adding of solid solute? Then what happened? There is lowering of vapor pressure. Now, if you divide it by the total, divide it by the original vapor pressure, that is P naught A, it will become relative lowering of vapor pressure. Ki relatively, it is lower. Hua. Okay. If it is only pure P naught minus P total, that is lowering. When you divide it by the total vapor, the initial vapor pressure P naught A, wo kya ho jayega? relative. Ho jayega. Okay. So this is the equation for relative lowering of vapor pressure. Now, let us look at this equation. And I to this equation. Aapko yaad rakhna. This equation is important. This is known as relative lowering of vapor pressure. Ek aur iska equation ban jata hai. If you are going to, uh, what we are going to do now, a chi b ko hum log khol ke likhte hai. Okay, we will write chi b in the expanded form. We have p naught a minus p total. P total is the vapor pressure of what? P total is the vapor pressure of the solution. Divided by p naught a will be equal to chi b you can accept the number of moles of b divided by number of moles of a plus number of moles of b okay now i will flip both of these things so p naught a upar chala gaya p naught a minus p total niche a gaya and this will be equal to n a plus n b divided by n p ab kya kare hum n b dono jagah divide karte the right so i will get P naught A minus P naught A minus P total. This will be equal to N A upon N B plus N B upon N B. N B upon N B ko kya sakte hai, hum one sakte Then I will get this one on the left hand side. I will get P naught A upon P naught A minus P total minus one will be equal to number of A upon number of moles of P. Now, taking LCM, P naught A into minus P naught A ho gaya. LCM kya jayega yaha pe? P naught A minus one because one ki niche one hai pas. Hai na? P naught A minus P total a gaya pas LCM. Now, P naught A into minus one will be equal to minus P naught A. Minus P total into minus one will be equal to plus P total. This is equal to number of moles of A divided by number of moles of B. Here, what I can do, I can cancel P naught A and P naught A. I will get the equation as P total upon P naught A minus P total is equal to number of moles of A divided by number of moles of B. Aap ek bar fir se flip kar so it will become P naught A minus P total divided by P total will be equal to number of moles of P solute divided by the number of moles of P solvent. This is another equation that you have to remember. These are the two equations. Jab aap jo, iske liye karna hai aapko. Relative lowering of vapor pressure. Okay. Please write till here first. Let me know once you're done.
then you can write the next one also. Let me know once you're done, guys. Okay. Write this down. Let me know once you're done. Done so. Wait next. Determination of molar mass of solute using RLVP. What we are doing? Using RLVP, we are determining the molar mass of solute. Determination of using RLVP. No. In this uh, domain equation, use Kasak Tamlo. I can use this chi is equal to P naught A minus P total upon P naught A. In this case, I have to do some kind of, in this case, I have to do some kind of uh, approximation. Which assumption Lena Parega, but you can get the pure molar mass without any assumption. Aap isko use kar sakte. Okay, so, first of all, let us look at this one P naught A minus P total. Let us use this equation. We have P naught A. Minus P total divided by P total. This is equal to number of moles of B divided by number of moles of A. Number of moles of B ko kyaan iskakte aap You can write number of moles of B as WB upon the molar mass of B. Number of moles of A ko kyaan iskakte aap Number of moles of A ko iskakte aap The given mass of A divided by the molar mass of A. Denominator of denominator kya ho jata hai? Numerator ho jata, right? So this MA will go above like this here. Okay. A is solute. 
सॉरी ए इज सॉल्वेंट एंड बी इज सोल्यूट ठीक ना इन दिस केस वॉट आई कैन राइट आई कैन राइट आपको क्या निकालना है द मोलर मास ऑफ वॉट द मोलर मास ऑफ दी सोल्यूट आपको निकालना है एम बी एम बी को आप इधर ले भेज दीजिए ओके सो इट वॉज इट इज गोइंग टू बिकम एम बी इट इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बी इन टू एम ए अपॉन डब्ल्यू ए मल्टीप्लाइड बाई पी टोटल बिल को अपॉ डिड बाई पी नॉट ए माइनस पी टू राइट इज डाउन दिस इज फॉर विदाउट एनी एजम्पन वी हैव अनदर इक्वेशन पी नॉट ए माइनस पी टोटल डिवाइड बाई पी टोटल विल बी इक्वल टू काई बी काई बी इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ बी डिवाइड बाई नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ ए प्लस नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ बी नाउ वेन नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ बी अगर आपको दिया हुआ है इट इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल देन नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ देन इन दिस केस डिनोमिनेटर में एन बी को हम लोग नेग्लेक्ट कर सकते हैं So I will have P not A minus P total divided by oh sorry this is P not A P not A is equal to number of moles of B divided by number of moles of so what is the assumption that we are taking number of moles of solute is very very less than number of moles of solvent okay now in this case आप देखें everything is same here इस equation में N B upon N A and after assumption in this equation The only difference is here in the denominator we have total pressure. Here in the denominator we have P naught A. आपके पास आप directly यहाँ से लिख सकते हैं M B will be equal to the same equation W B into M A divided by W A into P naught A minus P naught A minus P two. After this, try this question. The vapor pressure of pure benzene at a certain temperature is zero point eight five bar. A non-volatile and non-electrolyte solid weighing zero point five gram, when added to thirty nine gram of benzene, the benzene का molar mass दिया हुआ है. The vapor pressure of solution is this much. What is the molar mass of solid substance? ठीक है. तो दरअसल the molar mass of The solute क्या क्या दिया हुआ उन्होंने उन्होंने दिया मोलर मास ऑफ ए दिया हुआ कितना सेवेंटी एट ग्राम पर मो देन दे हैव गिवेन पी नॉट ए देव ऑल्सो गिवेन डब्ल्यू बी डब्ल्यू बी है आपके पास जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम्स दे हैव ऑल्सो गिवेन डब्ल्यू ए दैट इज इक्वल टू थर्टी नाइन ग्राम्स देन उन्होंने क्या दिया हुआ है देव ऑल्सो गिवेन पी नॉट ए वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ प्योर बेनसिन is equal to 0.85 bar
and the total pressure p total is equal to vapor pressure of the solution is equal to 0.45 bar bar okay and they are asking what they are asking is the molar mass so do uh, thing dono is formula ko bhi use kijiye aur is wale formula ko bhi use kijiye use both the formula hai na and then see what is the answer you are getting for after using both of them एक फॉर्मुला क्या यूज कीजिएगा आप एम बी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बी इन टू एम ए अपॉन डब्ल्यू ए इन टू पी टोटल अपॉन पी नॉट ए माइनस पी टोटल एंड देन यूल यूज अनदर फॉर्मूला एम बी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बी इन टू एम ए डिवाइड बाई डब्ल्यू ए इन टू पी नॉट ए अपॉन पी नॉट ए माइनस पी टोटल
take one more minute guys and then i will explain this Okay, see here guys, MB will be equal to WB. WB is equal to 0 0.5 into the molar mass of A, that is 78, divided by WA. WA is equal to how much? 39, no? 39, okay? Into total pressure is equal to how much? 0 0.845 divided by 0 0.850 minus 0 0.845 will be equal to 0 0.5. Okay, now 0 0.5 into 78 is equal to 39. I hope all of you can see that, right? 78 by 2. Now 39 plus 39 ki jayega 9, 9, 18, 3, 3, 6, and 7, 78. Okay, so this thing will be cancelled. 39 and 39. So the, it is going to be 0 0.845. Divided by zero five. Yeah, we can I can write this as zero point zero five zero zero. Eight zero zero five. My bad. This will be zero point zero zero five. This will be zero 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 point zero zero five. Okay. Divided by everything is same here no yahan pe ye part to pura ka pura same hai that means this is also going to get cancelled wb into ma on w cancel ho jayega p not a kitna hai aapke paas so 0 0.85 divided by 0 0.05 theek hai this ko kya likh sakta hu this ko likh sakta hu 50 divided by 5 hai na a minus here we have four. Says of or agar aap iswaale ki use kare, so yahan pe aayega aapke paas 170 grams per mole. Okay, so almost both of these values are quite near, but I will suggest in your board examination and etc. use this one because in CERT me aapko ye diya hua hai. ठीक है? This is given in NCERT. Aap isi ko use kijiye ga. Please write this down. So what happened guys, kisi ka answer nahi aaya, so nobody gave the answer, it was very small calculation. Calculation was not tough, right? What happened, Rabia? Rabia, tell me what happened. Calculation uh, was yes, not sir, I, had, mm -hmm. I had gotten the answer, but then I was confused whether I was right or not. Abhi to aap answer ko tega, tab to pata chalega aapko. Ki it was right or not. What about Tarif, what happened? Yes, Tarif. Yes, I was doing. Sorry. I was doing it. No, but it should not take this much time, na? I'm trying to say that. Hiram, what happened? So nothing happened. I got the answer. Okay. Faiza, what about you?
Bharat, can you please turn your mic on? Yes, Bharat. Bharat, you have asked something. Yes. Is it any different? Is it different than what I have written? Sir, yeah, pay. Hmm. Okay, fine, sir. Yes, Bharat, tell me. Is it different? Mm, yes. What is different? Tell me. So over here it's P total. P In total. The book is P1. Book is P total. Hai. Hmm. Book is P1. Yes, it's P1. You can see M2 in there. What is P1? Define it in the book. What is P1? Tell me. 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 M2 जो दिया हुआ है ना उसको आप LHS में लेके आइए and whatever is in whatever is in the LHS उसको RHS में ले जाइए ठीक है M2 को कहाँ ले जाइए आप LHS में and whatever is present in LHS P0 over P0 one P0 two वाला कर वो सब को आप RHS में लेके आइए so you will see it is the same thing can you see that yes or no please tell me same है या नहीं है same है ठीक है तो वन थिंग आगे हम ये बता दे रहे हैं आप लोगों को एनसीईआरटी में आप देखिएगा एनसीईआरटी में आपको समझने में टाइम लगेगा एनसीईआरटी सबसे पहली बात इट शुड नॉट यूज वो वन और टू यूज करता है राइट वन एंड टू आई डोंट प्रेफर वन एंड टू आई प्रेफर ए एंड बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ सॉल्वेंट एंड सोल्यूट ओके एंड देन एक और चीज दिक्कत आ जाती है जैसे वहां पे आप देखिएगा पी टोटल की जगह पी टोटल एक बार अगर आपने किसी को पी टोटल बोला उसका समझ में आ जाएगा कि मिक्सचर की बात हो रही है इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट मिक्सचर And some books they write PS. अब ये PS जो है ये P solution का है ये solvent का है ये आपको हमेशा दिमाग में रखना पड़ेगा. Okay. So all the ambiguity is clear. If you write the expression in this term, the molar mass of B, B क्या है solute. एक ही चीज बस आपको याद रखना A is solvent, B is solute. P total का बारे में बोला जाए तो each and every kid is going to say total का मतलब दोनों को मिलाने के बाद जो है है ना P total. जो सोल्यूशन का होता है ओके सो प्लीज रिमेम्बर एक्सप्रेशन इन दीज टर्म्स ओनली ना अगर एनसीआरटी का आपको याद करना आसान लग रहा है तो उसको भी कर सकते हैं आई विल नॉट स्टॉप यू बट स्टिल चलिए नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ग्राफ ऑफ आर एल पी पी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लुक एट दी ग्राफ एंड देन यू विल मेक इट So here we have pressure, and in the x-axis we have the mole fraction of A. Okay, so mole fraction of A here it is equal to zero. The mole fraction of A here it is equal to one. So in this case the chi B will be equal to one, and here the chi B will be equal to zero. Now please tell me, guys, है ना? Mic on करके बताइएगा. When you have Chi A is equal to zero. That means we only have Chi B, and Chi B is solid. If it is solid, what will be the vapor pressure? What will be the vapor pressure of a solid? Here, vapor pressure of a solid. Yes, here, what will be the vapor pressure of solid? Yes, perhaps correct. Paisa, tell me what will be the vapor pressure of a solid? Nothing, sir. Yes, very good. Okay, so at this point, the vapor pressure of the solid will be zero. Pressure kya ho jayega? Zero ho jayega. And then, as you are going to increase A, that is solvent. Solvent is liquid. You are going to increase A. The vapor pressure will increase, and it will reach the maximum value 
when we have pure solvent. So this point is going to tell you about P naught of A. Okay. So this is the simple graph of RLVP, relative lowering of paper pressure. After this, you will write a note. There are a few things that can be present inside a question. कोई सवाल आपको ये बोल सकता है RLVP of a salt of a solution is क्या बोल रहे हो RLVP of a solution is let us suppose मान लीजिए आप A A B C D क्या लिखे हम Q R S T U V W X Y Z S M है ना मान लीजिए उन्होंने क्या बोला RLVP है क्या RLVP की वैल्यू क्या दे रही है M now what does this M mean RLVP it is equal to mole fraction of the solute. I hope all of you have seen. ठीक है तो जब भी बोला जाए RLV is equal to zero point this much. That means they are talking about the mole fraction. Okay, please remember this point. RLVP is equal to mole fraction. Relative lowering of vapor pressure. It is equal to the mole fraction of solute. Then everyone, yes, no, please tell me. Yes, sir. Okay. Right next. Elevation in boiling point. Anna. Second qualitative property is elevation in boiling point. Okay. First of all, we will understand why this elevation happens in boiling point. And, and then we will look at the complete formula and everything. Now, please remember what we are adding. We are adding a solid solute. Don't write anything after this. Okay. What we are adding inside the solution, we have the solution. This is pure liquid. We are adding a solid solute. And what is happening when we add the solid solute? Vapor pressure decreases. Now, when vapor pressure decreases, what is going to happen? When vapor pressure decreases, we'll have less amount of vapor, no, less amount of vapor pressure also. That is why it will be difficult to reach 1 atm. It will be difficult for the vapor pressure to reach 1 atm. In the case of, let us suppose that T naught B was the boiling point of the pure solvent. When you add in the solute, you have TB. Boiling point of the solution. Now, obviously, T naught B is going to be what? T naught B is going to be smaller and TP will be higher. Why TP will be higher? Because the vapor pressure, the amount of vapor pressure is less. When we have less vapor pressure, we will require more temperature in order to reach 1 atm. Because what is boiling point? Boiling point is the temperature at which, boiling point is the temperature at which vapor pressure of a liquid is equal to the external pressure. Or it is equal to 1 atm in normal conditions. If vapor pressure is less, so let us suppose initially it is T0B, the vapor pressure here was 0 0.5 bar, F0.5 atm. And it has been reduced after adding a solid solute, it has become 0 0.4 atm. Now obviously, if I am going to heat it up, I will require more temperature if I am going to boil 0 0.4 atm to 1 atm. Right? It is going to require more heat and more temperature. And that causes elevation in boiling point. All of you understood why it is how elevation boiling point happens. Yes or no, please tell me. What is the reason? The reason is the decrease of vapor pressure. Isko yaad vapor pressure decreases. That is why it is difficult to reach 180. Okay. All of you got this. Yes or no, please tell me. Austin, Iram, Fahad, Faiza, Rabia, and Tarif. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. What about others? Okay. Now please write elevation and boiling point. Vapor pressure decreases 
non addition of non volatile solute on addition of non volatile solute hence the solution would require higher temperature the solution will require higher temperature to reach vapor pressure of 180 and eventually boil okay so this causes what this causes the elevation in boiling point so what is elevation in boiling point delta tb it is equal to the boiling point of solution minus the boiling point of the pure solvent. This is not a formula, rather this is a definition. Right? Delta TB kya hoga? Fine, jo aapke paas solution ka hai, minus jo zada hai, minus jo kum hai. So TB minus T0B. Please write this down. Next we are going to see the graph of Elevation in boiling point. Please see this graph. So, first of all, please see first of all what? First of all, see for solvent. And where are you going to see? You are going to see at this point. Let me get this a bit. Okay. Let us look at this case. We are here now. Okay. We are here now. And the solvent is having some vapor pressure. Solvent is having some vapor pressure at a particular temperature. Solvent is having some vapor pressure at a particular temperature. And when then we are increasing the temperature, the solvent's vapor pressure is also increasing and it is reaching the boiling point. And it is reaching the boiling point. Look at these two points at a particular temperature. Let us look at a particular temperature. This temperature mein, solvent is having a vapor pressure of this much. Okay. This is the vapor pressure of the solvent. Obviously, when you are adding a non-volatile solute, what is going to happen? The vapor pressure is going to decrease. But here, vapor pressure of the solution is here. And, and since the vapor pressure of solution is here, as we are increasing the temperature, the vapor pressure is increasing, 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 and it is reaching this point. Is point pe kya hai? Is point pe 1 atm. It is going to start boiling at this particular point, which is 1 atm. So this 1 atm is same for solution and solvent. But as you can see, the solution requires a larger temperature TB. Okay? It requires a larger temperature TB. So this is the graph for elevation in boiling point. Please draw this graph. If you don't understand this graph, please let me know. But I hope, pehle aapko kya dekhne? Kisi ek temperature pe dekh lije dono ka. Solvent and solution. So obviously, solution ka kya hoga? Vapor pressure kam hoga, solvent ka zada hoga. Why? Because solution will experience a decrease in vapor pressure on addition of non-volatile solute. Or up temperature increase ki do no same route follow karenge. I mean, the slope is going to be the same because vapor pressure kis ki wajah se increase kar raha? Vapor pressure is increasing only because of the solvent molecules. Solid molecule ke wajah se vapor pressure is not going to increase because solid molecules are not going to convert into vapors. Okay. So they saw that delta TB, it is directly proportional to the molality of the solution. Okay. Now, in order to remove this proportionality sign, we can write delta TB is equal to proportionality constant KB into M. 
What is M? M is molality. And what is KB? KB is molal elevation constant. It is also known as boiling point elevation constant. Boiling point elevation constant. It is also known as ebullioscopic constant. Ebullioscopic constant. Done everyone is on a piece of me. Is everyone yes, done? Sir. Right next. What is molar elevation constant? A molar elevation constant, whenever you are trying to define a constant, delta T B is equal to KB into M. Uh, you have to define this constant. It is in the right hand side. So right hand side, whatever variable you have, usko one kar dijiye. Molality ko jab aap one kar dijiye ka, when? Molality it is equal to one. Aap kya sakte hai? Delta TB is equal to KB. That means KB is that elevation in boiling point when molality is equal to one. When molality of the solution is equal to one, please write KP is elevation in boiling point when concentration of solution is equal to one. One kya one molal hai na? Okay. Now from this equation I can write AB it is equal to delta TB upon M. The unit kya ho jayegi KB ki? Delta TB will be in terms of Kelvin. Degree Celsius mein ho sakta hai. But Kelvin molality will be in moles per kg and since it is in denominator it will be kg per mole kelvin kg per mole is the unit of kelvin kg per mole is the unit of delta kb molar elevation constant Let me know once you're done. Done, sir. Okay. Right next, determination of molar mass using delta TB. derivation of molar mass of salute using delta T. So we know delta T B is equal to K B into M. Okay. Now what I can write molality as I can write molality as K B into WB upon MB divided by WA in kg. Molarity kya hota? number of moles that is given mass upon molar mass divided by the mass of what solvent in terms of kg in terms of kg. So WB upon MB. Isko kya sakte 
ए बी इंटू डब्ल्यू बी डिवाइड बाई एम बी इंटू डब्ल्यू ए इफ डब्ल्यू एज इन टर्म्स ऑफ ग्राम्स ये डिवाइड किसके करना पड़ेगा थाउजेंड से एंड डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर इज वॉट न्यूमिनेटर इट विल मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थाउजेंड है ना इन टू थाउजेंड इन दिस केस दिस इज डेल्टा टी वी यहां पर आपके पास डब्ल्यू बी किस में है ग्राम्स में है एम बी किस में है दिस इज ग्राम्स पर मोल आपके पास और डब्ल्यू ए किस में है दिस शुड ऑल्सो बी इन ग्राम्स ठीक है ना एम बी विल बी इक्वल टू वॉट के बी इन टू डब्ल्यू बी इन टू थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई डेल्टा टी बी इन टू डब्ल्यू प्लीज राइट दिस डाउन and all of you guys you will wait after the class theek hai there will be a test after the class and i will be ending the class 10 minutes early please all of you please stay okay test will be on the relative lowering of vapor pressure there will be a small test on relative lowering of vapor pressure All of you done? Yes or no? Please tell me. Sir, have you written? Yes, sir. Okay. Look, an interesting question came. Please write this question. At hundred degrees Celsius, the vapor pressure of a solution of six point five gram of six point five gram of Solute in hundred gram of water is seven thirty two mm. If Kb is equal to zero point five two, the boiling point of this solution will be how much? यहाँ पे सवाल को लिखें. So in this question, they have not given anything. उन्होंने ये भी नहीं बताया. What is the? They are not telling. They are only told what is the mass of the solute that is added. They are not telling the number of moles of the solute. ठीक है. तो इस सवाल को कैसे करेंगे? फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू डू देखिए एक चीज इन्होंने यहाँ पे क्या दी हुई है एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस ठीक है वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ सोल्यूशन इज हाउ मच सेवन थर्टी टू एम एम ऑफ एच जी यू शुड नो एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ वॉटर विल बी हाउ मच टू बी इक्वल टू वन ए टी एम बिकॉज ये क्या होता है बॉइलिंग पॉइंट होता है और वेपर प्रेशर किसके बराबर होना चाहिए वन ए टी एम के बराबर एंड वन ए टी एम इट इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच सेवन सिक्सटी एम एम ऑफ एच जी 760 mm, ठीक है, It is equal to 760 mm. Now I will use the formula P not a minus P total divided by P not a minus P total divided by. अच्छा इन्होंने यहाँ पे क्या डाला है? Have we added a larger amount या फिर बहुत कम amount डाला हमने? 6.5 grams in 100 gram, it's a very small amount, so I can write P not a upon P total divided by P not a will be equal to number of moles of solute divided by number of moles of solvent acha 
नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सॉल्वेंट कितना हो जाएगा आपके पास नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सॉल्वेंट विल बी हंड्रेड अपॉन एटीन तो पी नॉट कितना है पी नॉट इज सेवन सिक्सटी माइनस सेवन थर्टी टू डिवाइड बाई सेवन सिक्सटी इक्वल टू एन बी दैट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट डिवाइड बाई हंड्रेड अपॉन एटीन डिनोमिनेटर का डिनोमिनेटर न्यू रेटर तो न्यू रेटर चला गया ऊपर and now what we can have 760 minus 32 will be equal to how much 28 divided by 760 into 100 divided by 100 divided by niche kya jayega aapke 18 aa jayega this is equal to the number of moles of the solute number of moles of solute mil gaya aapko now what you can do you can calculate the molality molality is equal to how much number of moles of solute divided by the mass of solvent mass of solvent is 100 100 का क्या मतलब हो गया 100 डिवाइड बाय 1000 बिकॉज़ वी विल राइट मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ केजी नाउ दिस आई कैन राइट डिनोमिनेटर का डिनोमिनेटर न्यूमरेटर इनटू 1000 दिस 100 एंड दिस 100 विल कैंसिल यू विल गेट m is equal to nb into 10 ठीक है नो व्हाट इज डेल्टा tv डेल्टा tv is equal to kb into nb nb क्या था 28 into 100 डिवाइड बाय 760 into 80 multiplied by this is number of moles and into 10 number of moles into 10 will be equal to molality into kb kb kya hai aapke paas 0.52 okay so when you calculate this the important thing is that you have to see they have given this part 100 degree celsius so se humko kya pata chala 7 this equation This equation here it is important. Seven sixty minus seven thirty two upon seven sixty. Now if you calculate this value, zero point five two into twenty eight into one thousand divided by seven sixty into eighteen. So this comes out to be one point zero six. That means elevation in boiling point is equal to how much? One point zero six. Elevation in boiling point का क्या मतलब हुआ? Boiling point कितना बढ़ा है? One point zero six बढ़ा है. What is the normal boiling point of water? Hundred degrees Celsius. Hundred degree में कितना बढ़ा है? One point zero six. Answer क्या जाएगा आपके पास? One zero one degree. Okay, so please write this down. बस ये calculation यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा लेंथी है. Otherwise this is a very good question. Okay. 